In this screencast, I am going to show you how to create a file that you can use as a set of point of interest for the Wikitude application. This is something that I demonstrated briefly at the Mobile 2011 uh, conference during one of the sharing sessions. And I've figured out a couple of things here on how to do this uh, fairly quickly. So I wanted to share that here uh, with this uh, short little movie. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go to Google Maps. So I'm going to do that here. And what I am going to do is, I'm, it's right around lunchtime here, and I want to go to Hawaiian Barbecue. Uh, not advocating any of these restaurants, but I'm just uh, um, saying that, uh, you know, here's something that's close to me, and I'm going to create uh, a map that shows me where these are located here in the uh, Phoenix area. So there's two Hawaiian barbecues here in, uh, in Phoenix. I'm actually staying in, uh, in Gilbert at the moment. And so I want, to show, I want to know where these things are in proximity to where I am. So I'm going to create a map for these. I'm going to create a new map. And so I'm going to call this Hawaiian barbecue. So Hawaiian barbecue restaurants. In the East Valley. Okay, and now what I want to do is put the point markers on here. So I'm going to do this again by doing a search for these restaurants. And so this, uh, this L&L is located um, here at 1641 South Stapley Drive. Let me go back to my map. And essentially... What I need to do is mark where that is. Oh, if you actually, if you look at the map there, there it is, L&L Hawaiian Barbecue. I'm going to drop that right onto the map. And uh, that's what I'm going to include on my map. And you see here that it's already marking it for me uh, with metadata. But um, if I wanted to put my own pinpoint on here, I could do that um, as well. Um, something that was a little more descriptive of my own move it a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to put L and L wine barbecue. This is one of my favorite restaurants in Gilbert. Okay. Right, so that's uh, that's one of the restaurants. I can put other ones on here as well. There's uh, uh, there's another Hawaiian barbecue restaurant here in the uh, Gilbert area. Ooh, there's lots of them. Actually, I think that there is another. Oh, this one is Ono. There's Ohana, Ono Barbecue. Okay, but I want to have I want to use this Ohana <clears throat> Hawaiian Barbecue. Uh, so 865 North Gilbert Road. We'll go back to my map, and I'm gonna find North Gilbert Road. I doubt that I will actually be able to find the actual restaurant on the map like they had before. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and mark a different restaurant on here that I like. There's a Thai restaurant here, Mint Thai Cafe. Mint Thai Cafe. This is a good uh, Thai restaurant in the area. Okay, so. Anyway, so um, the process that you follow essentially when doing this is to find the points of interest that you want to mark on a map. Uh, you go ahead and mark them using Google Maps. And then you put a little bit of metadata along with them. This, is, this metadata is what's going to show up in the 
uh, in the, uh, uh, the Wikitude app once you start to do browsing in the augmented reality view. Okay, so, uh, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to let's see, I've got it saved. Um, now what I can do is I can view the, I, there's this link here for viewing in Google Earth, and what I want to do is copy the link address for that. And what this is going to do is give me access to the, uh, uh, to the KML that I need. Uh, but what we want to do is actually modify uh, this URL that uh, we've copied. And the part that you want to modify is the part that says output equals NL. And you want to modify that to output equals KML. And now when I save or when I click on this link, uh, this, gets, this file gets downloaded as a KML. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and put this into a directory that I have set up over here. And when I open up this file, what I want you to notice here is this is the KML file. This is the format that you actually want for all of this data. Uh, this is a file that we're going to upload to the Wikitude site. And we don't need to do anything to this file. So this file is, is all set. Uh, unlike what I was uh, talking about during the sharing session, um, that where I was talking, I, I spoke to a couple of people and showed how to do some conversions, and all of that is unnecessary. All you need to do is that save as uh, within the uh, uh, within Google Maps, save it as, and then paste it into your browser, change output to KML, and then you'll get the file that you need. Okay, so the next step, so that's the first step, is creating your map and outputting it. So this, the next step is to go to the wikitude.me site. And uh, when you go there, you, you want to go to this developer section. So uh, I've clicked on that, and uh, the page is loading. Uh, one of the things that you may need to do is uh, sign in and create or create an account. Um, creating accounts here is actually free. I've already signed in, um, but uh, you know you can, uh, of course, uh, create an account. It's free. Um, so I'm going to click on Upload KML File. Now uh, here's where you're going to enter in different metadata for your uh, for this world that you've created, this AR world. So I'm going to call this Hawaiian. No, sorry, I'm going to call this. Uh, favorite restaurants and let's see Jerry favorite restaurants fades okay and then I need a description these are two of my favorite restaurants in Gilbert Arizona I'm going to put tags here, so uh, restaurant, Thai, Hawaiian. I'm put an author name, that's me, a language. Um, some of this isn't actually required. Um, you do have to create an icon that's 32 by 32 pixels in a, as a PNG file. Uh, and then here's the place where you want to actually upload your KML. So I clicked on that. Um, my KML is here. I click on open. And then I'm going to add a logo uh, that I have for the Mobile Learning Center. And that's actually, those are all the things that are required. I don't need to do anything else. Uh, but there are other logos and other things that you can include. And I'm going to click on, let's see, I've read the terms and conditions, uh, standard conditions, and then um, I don't think I care whether or not they promote it. Um, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to click on Save. And now this is being uploaded to their, um, to their servers. And now they actually show up here on the list of the KMLs that I have uploaded. So if I click on... Um, the link for my favorite restaurants, what I can do is verify the points that were uploaded. So I'm going to click on Show Data in Google Maps. 
and it shows those points of interest. I'm going to click on one of these and zoom in on the map. And there is the point, the Thai Cafe. And then the other one, let's zoom out just slightly, is the, uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. I zoomed out too far. Uh, L L Barbecue, Wine Barbecue. Okay. So now that these points are on their server, they will show up in Wikitude in the app. Um, and so uh, I'm going to start up the Wikitude app. And I have a little camera that I have on here that I'm going to do to show you that they have shown up now in, uh, in Wikitude. So here I am. But here's the app. And you see here is a, there's a, an area on the iPhone that's the featured links or featured worlds within Wikitude. I apologize that the, uh, the image is backwards, but it actually has shown up here now as one of the worlds. Uh, so that logo there, that's uh, Jerry's Favorite Restaurants. Uh, it is now in there. And so if I click on that, what happens is I get the augmented reality camera view here and let's see if we can orient ourselves so that the restaurants actually show up in the views um, there's oh uh, yeah there it is so I don't know if you can see that the icon is shown up there in the uh, augmented reality view if I click on that icon it shows me the data for the Mint Thai Cafe. And if I orient a little bit uh, further to the north, LNL Barbecue shows up, and that data is also shown um, in the AR view. So, anyway, so that is the uh, creation of this, uh, the uh, augmented reality view for Wikitude. Um, it's a fairly straightforward process, but I think it opens up a lot of possibilities of things that you can do uh, for scavenger hunts and, and that kind of thing if you're uh, especially um, uh, something that's quick to do, easy to do. Um, and again, you can uh, use that to create a whole bunch of different kinds of experiences, uh, especially for your students if you're, you're doing some kind of thing um, uh, in sort of the geo-historian kind of style that uh, Mark Van Huft um, talked about or other uh, possible uses. Anyway, so that hopefully this is uh, something that's of use to you.